Welcome to Getting Old Ain't for Sissies with Tom Rivers. He's over 70. He's a retired big-time radio DJ. He's an old hipster. He's full of it when it comes to knowing how it feels to get old. He has the skid marks and the mileage to prove hey. Now with another Getting Old Ain't for Sissies, here's Tom Rivers. Thank you very much, Doug Dahlgren. Always a musical treat to hear those pipes of yours. What a great guy he is. He's the kind of a guy who'll see a pigeon on Michigan Avenue, and if he has some crackers, he'll eat them and kick the pigeon. <laughs> ah, he's a wonderful human being. Uh, this is a Father's Day special edition of Getting Old Ain't for Sissies, and uh, got a lot planned for you. Coming up on today's show... The most popular Father's Day gifts you can give, Dad. Ever thought about getting Dad a flamethrower? We're going to talk about that. Uh, The facts behind Father's Day cards. And what Dads really want to eat on their special day. Plus, the history of Father's Day. All coming up right here on Getting Old, Ain't for Sissies. With me, from me, all right? There was a national movement to get rid of both Mother's and Father's Day and replace them with one, Parent's Day. Didn't really catch on. And some men didn't even want a Father's Day to begin with. Some saw it as a hallmark holiday, invented for the sole purpose of a commercial gimmick. Others saw it as an attempt by society to squash manliness. Oh, I'm not a man. (laughs) Yes, I'm a manly man. Now you can email us here at Getting Old Ain't for Sissies. Okay? Email us. That's right. Just up up in the top where it says to put my name Tom Rivers. T-O-M-M Rivers. And in the address area, put superradio68 at gmail.com. That's superradio68 at gmail.com. All right? We'll give you that information again as the show uh, goes on. Uh, Here's a good reason to celebrate Father's Day. Dads are spending more time with their kids. Baby boomer dads spend one-third more time with their kids than their fathers did with them. And younger dads are spending even a greater amount of time with their kids. And as a, a baby boomer dad, I can attest to that. That's true. So uh, good for new parents, new dads. Okay, Uh, Some of the uh, most popular Father's Day gifts, in order, a greeting card. But you have to add a special sentiment to it. You have to write something personal inside. All right? Uh, A special outing. Maybe take Dad to a concert. Oh, that'd be cool. Clothing, gift cards, uh, books, electronic gadgets... Now, here are the things not to get, Dad. No candy and definitely no ties. Don't get Dad a tie. He hates that stuff. Uh, Father's Day, it's it's Sunday. It's coming up on us, the 17th. So uh, if you're a dad, there's a really good chance you're going to get a, a Father's Day card. And maybe that's it. The most popular gift for Dad, and often the only one he'll get, is a Father's Day card. Father's Day is the fourth largest card-sending holiday in the United States, right behind Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and Christmas. 50% of Father's Day cards are purchased for dads and another 15% for husbands. The remaining fall into a a broad other category, which includes grandfathers, sons, brothers, uncles, and other loved ones. Now, I mentioned this at the top of the show about getting Dad a flamethrower. Now, it's true. 
Uh, it's a fun gift for Father's Day. A flamethrower. Elon Musk's boring company has gotten its $500 flamethrowers into the hands of consumers for the first time. For legal reasons, the machines are named not a flamethrower. That's what they call them. Not a flamethrower. Some people... See, that's how they got around the law. Some people have already been torching things at home and sharing the images on social media. You'll actually have to wait until next Father's Day. The Boring Company has already sold 20,000 not a flamethrowers. Interesting. Elon Musk, what a guy. Uh, Father's Day food. What does dad want to eat on Father's Day? Well, here are the top ten most wanted dishes in order. This is this is true. This is what dad wants to eat on Father's Day. Good old pop. Pizza, number one. Fried chicken came in number two. Ice cream, lasagna, spaghetti, and meatballs. Macaroni and cheese, meatloaf, a grilled cheese sandwich, chili, and chicken pot pie. Not surprisingly, nine out of ten of these foods all have something in common. They're made with either butter or cheese. Mmm, scrumptious. Speaking of Father's Day gifts, file this under things you never knew existed but also sound amazing. Scotch-infused toothpicks. If Dad loves his whiskey, he'll definitely appreciate these long toothpicks, which have been infused in a barrel-aged in single malt whiskey by a 200-year-old distillery. You got to look for these. Cost 36 bucks. Yeah, I'd like to have some toothpicks, please. The uh, the Scotch uh, whiskey toothpicks. I don't think you're going to find them in the local grocery store. I think you're going to have to hunt for those in uh, uh, alcohol specialty shops. If you want to celebrate Father's Day like the Germans do, you will celebrate Father's Day like we do in Germany? You will celebrate it like this. Uh, here's a German Father's Day celebration we should adopt. Sounds good to me. On Father's Day in Germany, men drink. They spend the whole day at a beer garden. And uh, the best states for working dads... As far as health conditions, financial well-being, uh, male life expectancy, and child-raising environment, among others, to rank the best and the worst states for working dads, the top five states for working dads are New Jersey, Vermont, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Minnesota. At the bottom of the list... Louisiana, West Virginia, Arkansas, Nevada, and Mississippi. Just thought I'd give it a little flavor there with a little uh, twang. Oh, this is this is a super gift idea for Dad. I don't know if you've got the uh, ka-ching for this, but uh, if your dad is a baseball fan and you're extremely wealthy, uh, we've got a gift suggestion for you. The jersey worn by New York Yankees legend Mickey Mantle in the 1964 World Series, he wore it as he hit his record-setting 17th and 18th home runs. The price for the jersey? It's selling at auction for at least $750,000. Boy, would that put a smile on my old man's face. My dad was a big baseball fan. Dad really wants electronics first, okay? Then tools. Oh, I never thought of that. Tools. And then beer. They say candy and ties are out. Yeah, we went through that. 
But uh, beer comes up on that list. So uh, check into that. And most dads wanted to become fathers. Uh, A recent survey found about 8 in 10 fathers said they always knew they wanted to have children, compared with about 7 in 10 mothers, and 69% of dads called that long-standing desire to have children an important factor in their decision to have kids. Dads were more likely than moms in the poll to say they saw positive effects from fatherhood on their love life and career, and they're just as likely as moms to say it improved their overall happiness, sense of accomplishment, and sense of purpose. And uh, I just want to take this time to say, since I have this show now, Happy Father's Day to my dad, Stanley. Stash, you're a good man. You were a good man, and I love you. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Now, let's not forget, you can email us here at Getting Old Ain't For Sissies. Put my name to Tom Rivers, T-O-M-M Rivers. The address, superradio68 at gmail.com. That's Super Radio, S-U-P-E-R-R-A-D-I-O 68 at gmail.com. That's Getting Old Ain't for Sissies, Father's Day Special Edition. We'll talk to you again on Tuesday. Have yourself a great Father's Day weekend. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for listening to Tom Rivers and Getting Old Ain't for Sissies. Tom looks getting old straight in the eye and getting old look back at Tom. From social policy to what you should and shouldn't eat and more. Getting Old Ain't for Sissies can be heard at 7 p.m. Central Tuesday and Thursday nights on Spreaker, Twitter, Tumblr, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Tom's own Facebook page. And look for us soon on Google Play, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. From Chicago, I'm Tom Rivers' only friend, Doug Dahlgren. Thanks and good night. Good night.